Do you wanna hit the driver farther? In this video, I'm gonna talk about some techniques to make sure you're most efficient with the driver, get the most speed, and I'm also gonna talk about what everyone doesn't wanna tell you about how to gain speed. So let's get started. You hit it nowhere, so let's fix that shit. To start off with how to hit it farther, let's talk about something really simple that you might have just forgot about, and that is T height. For this shot, with a driver, get to use a T, and we gotta make sure we hit up on it. So what you want is to have the ball at least halfway above the top of the driver face. This is gonna allow you some space to hit up on it, because if you wanna hit the ball farther, you need to hit up on it, which is gonna help you launch it slightly higher and have less spin. Those low spinny ones are the real short ones, the high ones that don't spin, AKA how McElroy hits the golf ball, those are the ones that go the farthest. Good guy to follow. So one, T height, make sure it is high enough. If the top of the ball matches the top of the face, you're gonna hit these low ones. Those are great for fairway finders, but it's not great for distance. Second thing comes with how you set up to the golf ball. Obviously, still hitting up on it. You want the ball towards the front of your stance. I'd like to say near the inside of this lead foot. That, again, gonna help you swing up on it, launch it a little higher, spin it a little less. But with the shoulders, a lot of people get stuck where they set up almost like an iron, where this is just really, really level. I really want to see the left shoulder higher than the right shoulder. Again, left shoulder higher than right shoulder. We don't want this. We want this. This, simply, is just going to help you hit up on it. It's minor little things, minor little details in the golf swing that do so much. That's why this game is so frustrating. It's just the littlest things do so much in this game. So make sure lead shoulder higher than trail shoulder help you hit up on it. Next thing, something you've probably seen on tour is when they hit a draw, it goes farther, and when they hit a fade, it goes slightly shorter. So in this, let's talk about how to hit a draw to help you gain a little bit more of that distance. To hit a draw, what the club needs to do is it needs to be moving from the inside to the out, and the club face needs to be left of that path. So that difference is what makes the ball curve. I know what you're thinking, Darren. I know what the club needs to do. I just can't get it to happen. Well, this is what we're here for. We're gonna talk about it. So to get the club moving from the inside and out, you want to first start with the correct backswing. A lot of people don't understand that the backswing is really important to getting the club back in the right position. Basically, if you go like this, rip it way inside, your body's gonna wanna reroute it and get way steep, cut across it. You can't hit a draw from that position. So in the backswing, you wanna think keeping this connected and rotating with the chest and a little bit of the hips. That's gonna get the club head slightly outside of your hands and not rip so far inside. Then from there, as you keep turning, you need a full shoulder turn, full hip turn, you're now in a position where you can start letting the hit club and hands drop to swing into out. The backswing, way more important than you think. So getting past that initial backswing from here, Again, continuing to just rotate, 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 getting our back all the way to the target. If you want to gain speed, you want to kind of wind up the power, meaning we need a bigger turn. Just because you got the club to the top doesn't mean you're powerful and you got a full turn. You got to get your back to the target. The width in this turn is way more powerful than just getting the club up there. If you watch DJ, if you watch Rory, big turn, extension, that's how they're gaining speed. So we've made it to the top of the swing. We're still talking about how to hit a draw. We gotta get the club moving from the inside. Now, how are we gonna do that? From the top of the swing, a good feeling to do is feeling like this back stays to the target for as long as possible. What I mean by this is so you get to the top, you start shifting, Back stays the target, hands are gonna drop, right? Hands are gonna drop. What do we, from here, we're inside. We can swing out to the right. Common mistake a lot of people make, they get to the top, first thing that happens, these arms get going, you get really steep, your back's not staying to the target, everything's starting there. So top of swing, back to the target, 
let the hands drop, and then you can swing through. That's getting the club moving in to out. Very important to hitting that draw and getting that maximum efficiency, getting the most ball speed and less spin to get the ball to go farther. So we've talked about technique. Now let's talk about what no one's gonna tell you on how to gain speed. At least none of the social media instructors or the guys that are just happen to hit it really far. What they don't tell you is you just can't think about hitting it farther and then it happens. You really gotta work for it. And the start of that, I suggest going to the gym because if you're gonna get up here and try to swing out of your shoes for 10, 20, 100 golf balls and you're not, your body's not ready for it, you might injure yourself. So in this part of the video, I was gonna write out some sort of program for you guys, some movements you can do to help gain strength and be ready to gain some speed, but I'm not trained for this. I'm not a fitness instructor. I'm not certified for this. I don't believe since I work out, I'm given the authority that I can tell you how to work out. So I'm just gonna show you some of the movements that I do that help me gain speed, and you can implement it into your workout or do whatever you're normally doing. But the biggest thing is just to make sure you are physically fit and prepared to do the training we'll do on the course to make sure you're not injuring yourself. So here's what I do. Now that you're physically ready to work on swinging faster, this is what you want to do. It takes a lot of time to try and break the mental block that is you don't want to injure yourself. You can swing really fast without a ball there, but your body has this little governor that's telling you don't swing any faster because you might not stop in time and you might injure yourself. But you have more in the tank. You are stronger than what you're already swinging at. So what you need to do is try and break this governor, this little barrier, this mental block. And the easiest way I found to do that is one, get some of the speed sticks or honestly just swing your drive really fast. Just swing it as hard as you can. And I really mean as hard as you can. Cause you want to kind of get it so the body knows how fast to move the club and it's learning that you can move it faster without hurting yourself. But when you get over the ball, again, there's that little mental block. And the way I found to get past that is just getting on the range and hitting balls as hard as you can. When you're starting this, you're not gonna be able to hit as many. Say 10, you'll warm up, make a full warm up. Don't, none of this out of the car, swing as hard as you can. Full warm up. And then you can get up to where you can try to hit it as hard as you can. Don't focus on where it's gonna go. Just get up, swing as hard as you can. And over time, you'll be able to get more and more speed because you're gonna break that mental block. Your body knows, or it's gonna learn, that you're not gonna hurt yourself by swinging this hard or swinging any faster. So I'm sad to say this for you. I know you're probably thinking, I'm gonna watch this video, I'm just gonna gain speed like that. No, it's gonna take some work. You're gonna have to hit balls and really put in the time of just swinging literally out of your shoes. Just try and hit as hard as you can. So my suggestion with this, start out with 10 golf balls. You're gonna do a day where you hit 10 balls as hard as you can. Do that for every three days for two weeks, right? Then next two weeks, you're gonna do that with 20 golf balls. And then two weeks later, you're gonna do it with 30 golf balls. You're just gonna slowly build up how many balls you hit. Because at the start of this, you'll get up to max speed and you won't be able to maintain it very long. So in that case, your speed will start going down and you're just training yourself to swing slower. But as you get better at this, get more fit with it, you'll be able to do it longer and longer and longer. And those longer trainings will help you really generate that speed but you can't go out too hot too early because then you're just going to be swinging slower 
When you're doing this, don't worry about how you hit it. Don't worry about where it goes. You're really just focusing on speed. You want to move that club as fast as possible. You're going to be surprised that over time, you're going to hit these way straighter than you expect because it's a little more athletic move and timing everything up. But again, your main focus with these is speed. When you do your technique work with irons or hitting on the range normally, then you can focus on hitting it straight. But when you're doing this drill, it's as fast as you can move the club. It's the only focus. So that is all I got on how to hit this thing as far as you can to gain some speed, gain some distance. Quick reminder, quick recap. So we talked about T height, get that thing high enough. You want half the ball over the top of the driver face. Two, we're trying to hit up on it so your setup needs to match that. You wanna make sure this lead shoulder is higher than the trail shoulder. And three, we're working on hitting a draw, getting a full turn. So you wanna stay connected here, rotate with the body more to start, and at the top of the swing, feeling like the back stays of the target for longer, letting the hands drop, getting the club moving from the inside. And then we talked about just how to break that governor in your head to swing faster. So you're gonna have to put in time for that one. You're gonna have to put in some effort, hit some balls, swing out of your shoes, just really try and break that. But you will see results over time. With that being said, thank you for watching. Enjoy our driving all your buddies, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you're looking for a one-stop shop, everything short game related to help you improve on and around the greens, I got a short game program for you. If you want to watch more of these videos, click here. If you want to subscribe, click down here.